بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد My brothers, my sisters, dear believers The best greeting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all of you And upon all the bright faces that make sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala To all the sincere hearts that finds comfort, happiness, satisfaction, content, trust Success with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Today's topic, today's reminder 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed It is really an extremely important issue Important reminder for each and every one of us It doesn't mean you have to apply all the 60 ways Or you must apply the 60 ways to keep your wife happy No but sometimes you are not paying attention to one of these 60 ways that is really putting a hole in your relationship, putting a hole in your boat, the boat of your marriage, the boat of your life. So basically, some of us could apply these 60 ways. Some of us could apply half of them. But really, you want to be a champion, the art of love, the art of great dealing in a husband to wife relationship take a look at these 60 ways and you'll really find that each and every one of us needs them and why I chose to start with the sisters with the wife because they say when the husband is happy at home that mean one person is happy but when the wife is happy at home that means the whole family is happy and inshallah in the near future we will, with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, produce 60 ways to keep the love of your husband guaranteed. Speaking of the wife, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared in the Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعْلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declaring that from his signs that he created for you, from you, mates means wives, and what for? So you may dwell in tranquility, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused among you mawaddatan wa rahma, love and mercy. So therefore, Muslim scholars from this particular ayah concluded that the greatest achievement of a marriage, it is tranquility, sakina. If you have no sakina, if you have no tranquility in your marriage, you have no marriage. You have sakina, not sakina. Sakina is a knife. Sakina means tranquility, love, peace, comfort. I will exhibit these 60 ways with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explaining briefly what does it mean this particular point or that point and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help each and every one of us to take pick and choose some of us would like to practice all the 60 some of us would say you know what I'm a champion already in these 60 points but this is a reminder for me take a look at this where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us that your wife, it is a trust, she's a trust in your hand. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam particularly declared that, that this wife is a trust in your hand. So let us go one point after the second point. 60 ways to keep the love of your wife guaranteed. We'll start with the first point, which is make her feel secure. Ash'arha bi sakina. Make her feel secure. Make her feel that sakina, that tranquility. Quit the gum of the shaitan. Quit the gum that you could get from the supermarket of Iblis, the shaitan, na'udhu billah min. And that gum called, I will divorce you. I'm going to kick you out of home. I'm going to get rid of you. Quit that gum. That could put a hole in your marriage. Second point, assalamu alaikum. When you go home, you say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This particular great positive energy and this great greeting that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, it will kick the shaitan out of your home. A brother said, I came home and suddenly I got so angry at my wife. But really, 
she was wise. She just took off and went to other room. I said, oh, oh, I didn't pay attention. When I came home, I didn't say assalamu alaikum. He said, wallahi, I left home. I went outside for a few seconds. And I came back home and I said, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Nobody could hear me. But the evening ended in love and jokes. That's why that particular greetings, it will kick the shaitan out of your home, out of your marriage. Rifqan bil qawarir. Point number three. Rifqan bil qawarir. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa urged us and described that your wife is a fragile vessel. Take care of this fragile vessel. Rifqan bil qawarir. وبالقوارير خيرا كثير and remember that I'm adding that part وبالقوارير خيرا كثير that means in this particular vessel I'm not adding by the way this part to hadith Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم no innovation no touching of a hadith Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم but what I'm saying that in this particular vessel that there's goodness there's a lots of goodness and Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم asked us to treat this particular vessel in a gentle way النصح بالانفراد what does that mean point number four that means when you want to advise her this is one way to keep her love when you want to advise her advise her in privacy advise her at the best time that there is some kind of love atmosphere some kind of romantic atmosphere some kind of peaceful atmosphere don't advise her in the public تعمدني بنصحك بانفرادي وجنبني النصيحة في الجماعة فإن النصح بين الناس نوع من التوبيخ لا أرض استماعة intend advising me in a privacy avoid advising me in the public advices in the public it is type of slandering I don't accept, I don't listen to. This is what the poet said. So sometimes to administrate and to inject that nice request you have or advice, it's choose the best time. Choose the time when the mood is good and happy. You will keep her love. Al-Karam, point number five. Al-Karam, being generous with your wife. Being generous with her, it shows us that you are kind and your status with Allah is good because your generosity to your wife is a direct business with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a direct credit to her heart to be generous with your wife it keeps her love ifsah al-majlis point number six what does it mean your wife is coming you're sitting down you say here honey you move you say here have a seat I warm the seat for you you warm the seat for her, she will warm her heart for you. You know, when you move and you give her space, have a seat. These particular points, my brothers, my sisters, they may sound simple, but they can go a long way in the heart and they can really make your life happy. They can make a great difference. My brothers, my sisters, number seven, تجنب الغضب means avoid anger. Avoid anger. How? Keep wudu, keep wudu at all times. Some of you, some of us may get angry. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa showed us what we're supposed to be aware of. You know, you get angry, sit down. That's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa taught us. If you are sitting down, lie down. Lie down even in the floor. Some of us will say, you know, if I lie down, she will come and kick me in the stomach. No, she will not kick you in the stomach. You will kick the shaitan out of your stomach. تجنب الغضب Avoid anger. My brothers, my sisters, point number eight. المظهر الطيب والطيب means looking good, smelling great. Look good for your wife. It keeps the love. Smell great for your wife. It keeps the love. And Islamically, by the way, you could spend a good amount of your wealth and perfume and smelling good Islamically it's okay Islamically really it's desired and it's preferred these important matters my brothers my sisters can make a huge difference in our life it can really make us all break us 
Number nine, لا تكن يابسا فتكسر. What does that mean? Don't be rigid. You will be broken. Some brothers will think for me to be rigid. That means I'm a man. You know, no. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi taught us that أنا خيركم وأنا خيركم لأهلي. I am the best among you and I am the best to my wife. This is what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So being rigid, you don't get close to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Being harsh-hearted, you don't get close to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Number ten, حسن الاستماع. This is really important. That use this particular satellite, but channel that to your wife, because sometimes these particular. People who complain about their husband and uh, they come to the masjid, they go and get some counseling. You would find that really they don't want you to solve their problem. They don't want the husband to solve their problem. They just want a good listener. Be that good listener. Hasn al-istim.